When COVID-19 hit the world, Uganda was not spared. The empty roads, locked business premises, and silent nights were as a result of a national lockdown declared by the head of state. Lives were saved and damage was minimized. But the country's sectors, said to have operated at less than half capacity, affected the economy. One of them was tourism. Yes, we were badly hit by COVID. Badly hit by COVID for nearly two years. We had no business and those who had taken up loans, put up hotels, are still suffering uh, with those loans and the interest particularly which accrued during the COVID period. We have presented this as a matter for consideration by government and uh, we are hoping, we are looking forward to a solution coming up. In the midst of a biting economy, we found Mori Namanda Tumsime in the eastern district of Busia. The administrator of Jaire Hotel was operating on God's mercy. Uh, since coronavirus, we are operating in a negative. One of her predicaments was the increase in property tax that she at that time appealed to government to waive. We are not working and uh, at the same time we know that for these almost three to four months uh, we still have to pay the revenue when we are not working. Nearly one year since the lockdown was lifted across all sectors in the country, the hotel sector is still struggling. Business is returning to normal and we have started seeing tourists coming back. Domestic tourists have come back in big numbers. When we had the Munyonyo, you could see the numbers were building up. But also in the game parks, the numbers have actually gone beyond the 2019 numbers in terms of tourists who are visiting the game parks. The 25 taxes on hotel business have been brought to the attention of government by the relevant agency. Daudi Migereko is the chairman of Uganda Tourism Board. There is the issue of VAT. Uh, the VAT law had a problem in that uh, as soon as you issued an invoice and it was, it was immediately recognized by, by uh, URA, they would expect you to remit. It was expected that uh, you were paid and you would be required as a hotel to remit uh, VAT or 18% to Uganda Revenue Authority. But as you know, many businesses run on credit. Megereko is hopeful that there will be light at the end of the tunnel. We are going to see greater interest taken in mountaineering as an adventure. So some will be going up uh, Renzori, some will be going up Eregon, some are going up Kaguru, and I can tell you this is one other area of tourism that has come up. How soon this outcry will be attended to, only time will tell. Henry Okrut, UBC.